If you've ever gone fishing in real life and wish it was just as easy in video games, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. The fishing update in Lens Island is finally here after all that waiting and boy is it worth the wait. On top of that, there's more than just fishing added that we'll be taking a look at as well. Let's not waste any more time and get into everything that was added. Starting off, what would be a fishing update without a fisherman to buy and sell your fish at? You may have noticed before that there was a dock with a little shack that was all torn up that has now been fixed up and is now home to Kevin the Fisherman. Kevin the Fisherman will buy the fish you catch along with sell you a new sword called the Fish Stick, not to be confused with the Marlin Sword, and obviously he'll sell you a fishing rod. You can pretty much fish in every body of water from oceans, ponds, cave ponds to rivers. And depending on what body of water you're fishing in, you can catch a different variety of fish. Currently, there are six different types of fish available to catch, and now four new achievements tied to catching and eating fish. Speaking of eating fish, to cook a fish, all you do is toss it in the fireplace with some wood, similarly to cooking bread. Certain fish you cook and eat will give you a little buff. For example, eating an anglerfish, you'll get a little light that'll help guide you in the darkness of the caves. Hopefully, we'll see them adding more buffs based on what type of food you eat. And for you base building junkies out there, there are also a couple new fishing decorations you can use to decorate your base up. Unfortunately, they're kind of small decoration items, nothing big, and hopefully they add more because I'd really love to be able to build my own fishing themed village. Now moving on to some of the more general added bits of content not directly related to fishing, I'm not going to go through everything that was added because there's quite frankly a lot of smaller tweaks and reworks across the board, but we'll highlight some of the ones that I think you will enjoy the most. I mentioned before that the devs are planning on adding a droppable backpack upon death in the ancient caves which can be recovered to get the materials you've harvested back. Well for those struggling in the caves, wait no further because it's implemented in the game now. There's also been a small cave added beside the starter shack that's a more beginner friendly introduction to the bigger ancient caves. In this smaller cave there's coal and iron nodes that can spawn up to help brand new players get resources early game, as well as a couple enemies that are easy to deal with. They also added a screen effect for when your health is low so you don't forget to heal yourself when you're in combat, along with the hit screen shake in case you didn't realize you're actively being hit. If that's not your vibe though, you can toggle it off. Me personally, I notoriously forget to glance to see what my health is so I've died multiple times because of laziness and not healing myself. So looking forward to having this being added. The rest of the items changed in this new update are mainly reworks of entire areas, UI changes, and lots and lots of bug fixes. And that's it for the fishing update. I wonder what the next big update will be. I know the devs talked about adding controller supports, so I'm sure that would be next on the list, but content wise, maybe beekeeping or a new boss fight and enemy variations, or maybe an entirely new area altogether. Leave a comment in the comment section below on what you would like to see most. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new Lens Island updates. Happy fishing, YouTube.